Very, very caring. Now, in a 12 News exclusive, we are hearing tonight from the mother and the sister of a Glendale man shot in the face after opening his door. Pedro Gomez was a young father. His kids were hiding in the closet at the time of the shooting. The man police say shot Gomez, telling a 911 operator that voices inside his head made him do it. Trisha Hendricks is live in the newsroom with the family's heartbreaking story. Trisha. Vanessa Pedro Gomez leaves behind three precious children. Tonight, his mother and sister are just heartbroken, talking only with 12 News through the tears, wishing that he was still here. Not having Pedro with us, it's, it's been very really hard. Rosa Gomez is Pedro Gomez's mother. Just devastated. Pedro's sister Angelina can't believe what happened. That was like no shock. The first thing that I went into denial. Was, I, was, I was totally like toward the peace. And the next thing I heard, my brother's dead. All I did was cry. He was taken away from us before his time. Rosa was watching her grandkids on Friday, and that's the last time she talked to her son. All he said was, bye, Mom, I'll see you, you know, and i see you on Mother's Day. A day they never got to spend together. He was a good son. He was a good father, a good brother. Pedro's mom and sister say Michael Mitchell, the man Fucking that admitted bastard. to a 911 dispatcher he shot and killed Gomez after hearing voices in his head, had no reason to take his life. I know that there is someone much higher than me that he will have to deal with. Investigators say Mitchell admits to having a meth habit. I want justice. I want the fullest extent, whatever the law, you know, has to offer. Now, Rosa is still in the process of trying to reach her grandchildren who she believes are with their mother's family. She's just thankful that they were not physically hurt. Both Pedro's mother and sister claim to be at all of the court proceedings. Live in the newsroom, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News at 10. Thank you, Trisha.